Hey everybody, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts and I have a very, very special eco-earth day friendly craft to show you. It is a very special thing that I have created. I have thought about it and my mom had mentioned something about it when I was a kid and I had Demi. Demi, you're going to love me because you've already seen it, obviously, because it, it would have already gotten to you. But since I'm doing this, this video is April 10th, and Earth Day isn't for another 12 days. But, and you guys are going to love this. Ready? 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 There you go. This is my rocking chair. It's all handmade. I made it from scratch. It's also a stick pin cushion. You guys remember me showing you how to make this stick pin? Got a little purplish bead. Her favorite color is purple. But I have totally made this. I did get some embellies, and you'll see that in my other Earth Day video from Kim. Some of the embellies I did add to, like Kim, I added a bead to it, and like she gave me this paper, but I added it on um, like cardboard from a cereal box, and I distressed it, and I had. Added some glossy accent with some sparkly shimmer glue, which is my favorite. Added some trim and two hats that I got from uh, Coco, and I added some flowers to that. This one, I added some bead trim down to it. Added some extra flowers and that butterfly. Some of the butterflies that you'll see that I got from you, Kim, that and Coco, that I uh, I altered them just slightly to match the colors and. Um, some of these stuff you guys will see from different swaps that I've got and I altered them slightly to go like Coco if you notice that I added some trim into here and I added uh, this is I think from Natalia I've got stuff from Natalia and Bailey and everybody all over this one that I sat and I added to it like I added some more bead trim to it and I made the cushion and I'm going to tell you all what this is made from here shortly. And then um, you could see that I put, I altered that little angel that Kim sent me to fit in there. And then there's a whole bunch. And there's a bead that's off. It's okay. I'll stick it back in here shortly. Um, but uh, there's paper flowers, silk flowers, satin flowers. And then paper flowers, bead trims. There's um, uh, mulberry flowers. And, and, and there's fabric flowers. There is um, there's a flower right there that's made out of Kremlin, the real soft Kremlin lace. And then I added a whole bunch of beads. And if you guys remember, I, I take Garland apart and I use it. And I am just, I'm, I'm loving this. This came out so beautiful. And I did cheat and show a couple people first. And so that you guys want to know what this is, I know you're dying, but if you read the title, you'll know. Actually, I may not even tell you what it is in the title. This is the Sensational sensational Princess Chair, and I am going to, uh, or Stick Pen Chair. And I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to let you guess until you watch the video. Um, but it is 100% made out of clothespin. I had these clothes pins sitting around that I was going to use to do my spinner and I'm still going to do it but I needed to do something eco-friendly to show you what you can do with the old clothes pins and if you look I completely made it out of clothes pins and I had already had them spray painted black but if I show you the tutorial or the pictorial you'll see that it was black and I you know in between you obviously can't get to all the, the spots so I did finally go in after I got it all together and I, I used E6000 glue and I used hot glue and then I went over the whole thing with super glue because this sucker is not coming apart. I put too much work into it. Um, the stuff may fall off before it falls apart. Um, but look, it's completely made out of clothespins. I know, I know you all want to know how to do this. Um, I don't think my pictorial is as good. Um, and I may do a vi uh, t video tutorial because the pictorial doesn't really help. And um, the idea that I got, I saw a picture of it from, uh, actually, there's somebody has them in my OT. Um, they had two of them, I guess, a, a patient and made them. And I totally redesigned it because it just wasn't right. And I made this one more missionary style. Um, so it was more realistic to the modern day chairs because the other one that I saw was just kind of ugly. So, and even my husband didn't know what it was made of until after I made it. 
I mean, he knew what I asked him to take apart for me, but he had no clue that I could make this. And my mom said that uh, after I started making it that she had had one when um, she was first married to her first husband, but he threw it and broke it. So I think I'm going to make one for my mommy. Though she wants a drawer, so I'm going to do, i got to find the perfect little box to go in it. And i got to figure <coughs> out how to do that. I'm going to have to make it. But mommy, okay, these are shades of purple and pinks. And um, Demi loves purple, so I don't know if you can tell. That is that satin, shimmery pink purple for the cushion. And I tried to do a blend of the pinks and the whites and the blacks. And um, definitely did the in-between colors. And it just, it just came out so... It rocks. Oh, God, it rocks. You guys have been saying that you... This literally rocks. My my secret totally rocks. You're going to think I'm rocking cool. You guys have heard me put puns in there, and there's a reason. Anyway, this is to, like, the foam that comes around electronics, and I cut it and doubled it. And um, so you guys can see that. And I, I did two glues to hold it down. Hopefully it will stay down. Uh, but I'm hoping Demi participates in the stick pin swap that we've got going on. And anyway, there you go. I love it, don't you? Okay, so this is a sensational princess stick pin chair. And I hope you like it. Love you guys. Follow me from down here. My information's here over there. Bye.